My name is Colby Osberg, and I'm a fifth year PhD student at UC Riverside. And I have been studying exoplanets, in particular exo-Venuses and exo-Earths. Yeah, the scientific question that we were trying to answer with our paper is whether volcanism is detectable on exoplanets. The way we went about doing that was using a global climate model for Earth to model different kinds of eruptions on Earth. And with the data from that climate model, we plugged it into another model, which can then make that Earth an exoplanet and tell us what the atmosphere of that exoplanet would look like. The main result of our paper is that there are a couple different signatures in the atmosphere of an exo-Earth that could tell us whether volcanism is occurring. And the main one that we determined is changes in the amount of ozone. So when a, an eruption occurs on Earth, the volcanic gases can eat away at the ozone and basically reduce the abundance of ozone in the atmosphere. And that reduction of ozone produces a detectable signature that we could potentially see in an exoplanet. Similarly, the amount of water in the atmosphere of an exoplanet would change as well after an eruption. And so seeing that change, it, that change in water abundance uh, is something else that we could potentially look for when looking for volcanism. Determining that there is volcanism occurring on an exoplanet is really important because it gives us a glimpse of what the interior of the planet is doing and whether it may be tectonically active. So uh, like with the ring of fire on Earth, we see a lot of volcanoes occur at plate boundaries. And so if we are able to say that this planet for sure has volcanism occurring, then it would help us understand, you know, maybe this planet has plate tectonics just like Earth does, or maybe it has some sort of eruptions like we recently discovered on, on Venus. And so basically it gives us a glimpse into the inside of a planet while just looking at the atmosphere. Yeah, so I have a lot of research going on but there are some other projects that we were thinking about getting into that would be like a follow-up to this paper. And some of them would be testing out different types of eruptions. We tested out eruptions that are only putting out sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, but there's other kinds of eruptions like the one that happened, uh, I believe in Tonga recently, where they end up pumping a whole lot of water into the atmosphere. And so that could totally change what the uh, atmosphere looks like to us if we're viewing it as an exoplanet. Um, and so that's something else we wanted to look into, these different kinds of eruptions. And uh, I'm also interested to see what an exo-Venus might look like uh, as a, an exoplanet and how the atmosphere would look different to us and whether we can differentiate an exo-Venus from an exo-Earth.